Hell yeah, everyone. How's it going today? You ready to do some hacking? You ready to do some programming? You ready to do code? Hello, Gamozo. Are you making bank? No, I have I have never looked into making a bank. I, I'm assuming there's like a lot of government regulations that go into that. So that's that sounds like more work than what I want to do. Thank you, X Developer, for the uh, tier one sub. X the Developer. Hell yeah, describe the taste. It has a sweet taste. Now there is a slight nutty flavor that is brought out of the wooden barrels that it was aged in. You can, you can taste the 30 years when it hits your tongue. Afterwards, there's a small aftertaste that has a, su a sweet oaky f flavor and quite the aroma with it. You can, you can tell this was a fantastic grape juice that went through a, a long fermentation cycle. Mmm. Oh, look at that. The aftertaste comes afterwards. Damn it, warrior giggles. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Disc. You want me to ping everyone on Discord? Okay. <sighs> Tell me how to do my job. Backseat streaming here. Fucking real tilted tree. Oh, yep. I know how to stream better than you do. Learn how to advertise your stream. <sighs> so picky. So picky. Uh... Okay, there we go. Bam, tweet. Okay, clickbait. All right, all right, all right. Noob streamer. One of the best Discord communities out there. Hell yeah, we actually have a pretty good Discord community. I don't disagree with that. I need to make a new logo for Discord at some point. That would be a, a good thing to do. Uh, let's see. 30-year-old Tawny Port. Hell yeah. It was, but I left Discord. Oh, Rebel Elder. You know, chat, raise your hand if you think it got better once Rebel Elder left. <laughs> <laughs> Bitco, thank you so much for the 16 months. Holy shit, let's go. Oh, I like that emo. That's a good one. I've never been on Discord. <sighs> All the cool kids are on Discord. Man, I'm regretting having pants on today. Pants were a mistake. Whoops. What? B Shocks, thank you so much for the seven months of support. Hell yeah. What's up, go figure? What's happening? Uh, we haven't really started yet. We're just we're just getting into it. We're gonna be writing some code today. We're gonna be really smart. We're gonna be doing some thinking. We're gonna be reading some stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna be uh working real hard. Screw pants, skirts for the win. I fucking agree. I fucking agree. Skirts are so much better than pants. Skirts and summer dresses are literally the pinnacle of, of clothing, and it's really frustrating that uh, that uh, we have uh, gender norms here that I have to pretend to follow. Lulup112, thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Hell yeah. You can forget the pants if you do a hot tub stream. Maybe on the OnlyFans. The underwater cam for the OnlyFans. Skirts are optimized versions of pants. Exactly. Exactly. Damn it. <laughs> All right, chat. Anyone want to get me on a rant? Or do we want to start coding? I do technically have to recruit for my WoW raid tonight, which is going to be fucking hard. Not looking forward to that. Uh, two people couldn't make it, and there are two most important people. So now I'm struggling. Chat wants code today? Start code to your OnlyFans? Craigasm. 
You got rants? People want rants? BC, yeah. Uh, this is um, uh, a Burning Crusade, yeah. Yep, doing a Karazhan tonight, 6.30. Missing a healer and missing an off tank. But uh, we had an off tank you signed up, and then, then, then you said he read the time zone wrong, which is tragic. Rant, please. You can't, you can't just ask for a rant and get one. That's just not how it works, chat. Um, all right. Let's rant about GitHub Copilot. We already did that one. VS Code with Vim plugin, it sucks. I don't know why, but the Vim plugin for VS Code just really doesn't... It doesn't really capture it. I don't know why. Rants about wine? Uh... It's good. I love wine. I used to like uh, rosés and pink and sweet wines, and then I got really into the fucking driest. If, if it doesn't make my tongue prickle, it's not dry enough for me. I like that fucking potent-ass, dry, aerated red wine. Mmm. Mmm. Cab salves. Cab salves are probably my favorites. Uh, I like a good Melbec. Uh, those are the two that I'll always steer to. There's always something missing in every Vim plugin. Yeah, you're telling me. Melbeck is not dry. That's true. I agree with that. That is true. I mean, it kind of depends. It varies a lot. We need the NC spot of VS Code? You mean Vim? Like an N curses based lightweight editor that's really powerful? You mean Vim? You mean Vim? NeoVim route? I, I really don't even know what's different about Vim and v NeoVim. I, I see no reason to have to improve on Vim because it's already perfect. Um, How much work is left until what you're making is functional? I don't know. Probably, uh, probably 10, 20 hours. Emacs rant? Yeah, you. if you're an Emacs person, you know exactly what's wrong with you already, so you're fine. Like, there's no reason to rant about Emacs when people just... If you use Emacs, you already know that you're... You know. Uh, why not write a fa even faster Vim in stream while ranting about VS Code? That's not the sort of thing we would do on stream. We would never write a user interface. Why would we ever make a user interface? That's not low level. Then we'd have to design it and make it pretty and make it functional. NeoVim is extend VI with Lua? What? Why? Why? Vim without a UI? Uh, like a microscope and a hard drive and a small magnet? Unless it's an SVG in Firefox. Users are losers. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I like to say. Users are losers, and chat are basically users of this stream. <laughs> D, D colon. D colon. All right. God, that looks horrible. What is this? An animated cursor? Why? 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 How is smooth scrolling a feature? Smooth scrolling is literally just delaying your speed of writing code. Dis disappointing. Uh, where can I unsee this? Seizure-driven development. What you drinking out of whiskey glass? We're drinking some, uh, Tony Porto 30-year. That's what we've been drinking. It's pretty good. We're almost out of it. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be, uh, sobering up here real fast. Unfortunately. All right, chat.
Since no one can get me on a good rant, we're just going to start writing some code. How does that sound? How does that sound today? We need an animated cursor now? No, no, we don't. Um, all right. What were we learning? We were learning that our code's really good. Okay, so we wrote a const prop, which isn't actually a const prop yet. So we're going to go and we're going to make il source opt.rs. And this is optimization passes for milkshake. All right, and then we'll do, we'll implement this bad boy. Uh, not default, this. Okay, we'll pull this in, and then we need to pull in target reg and word, and okay, use create target reg word indexer uh, and graph. And then uh, pub fn optimize mute self. And this is a uh, run optimization passes on the code. All right. And this is basically the same thing that we did before uh, as we do here. So we'll do mod opt where clause. Now, nah, I'm not a huge fan of where clauses. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Um, okay. Are you into blockchains? No. No, I'm not a huge fan of blockchains. I think they're uh, uh, overhyped. <sighs> All right, we're going to do uh, passes is equal to basically the same thing we did before. We're going to have the optimization passes. We'll have self uh, const prop. And then this is a constant propagation. Okay, and then we'll go and make a uh, mod uh, const prop. SP IL source opt const prop dot rs. Make der IL source opt. All right. Uh, constant uh, propagation. So, um,. We didn't do constant propagation in the last IL, and I think we still want to have... Ah! Um... Hmm... I think... Let's start with doing uh, DCE, I think, is what we're going to do first. This is DDRM, yes it is. DCE, so this is a dead code elimination. SPIL source opt dc.rs, uh, dead code elimination. And we're doing the same thing we do here. Okay, and then we'll implement uh, FN DCE, mute self bool of whether or not we remove something and then this is a uh, dead code elimination okay is it reasonable to do constant propagation on x86 without an IL? yeah of course it's just gonna be a lot of work um it's just gonna be kind of a pain uh dce that looks pretty good uh, I think we had const prop in here and we can get rid of that. Yeah, let's comment that out temporarily. And then we'll go uh, for pass and passes. Uh, pass self. Uh, actually, while uh, passes dot iter dot while anything has done something perform that pass. I think that's what we wrote in the last one as well. So we'll just do that down here. IL.optimize. Then let's cut this down. We don't need to do that many ads. We'll just do a, a thousand ads for now, just a smaller function. And DCE needs to return something. If we return true here, this should loop forever. Perfect. And then this is a pub crate. Uh, this is actually pub super. 
Have you ever dealt with BPF, especially in the context of Rust? I have not. I'm not a. I'm not a BPF fan, to be honest. Uh, I don't think any security researcher is a fan of BPF. All right. Nice. So dead code elimination. Uh, what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna do this. We're not gonna remap R. And this is gonna cause us to use the same IL register, which will cause us to have a lot of stuff to remove here. Um, so the way that we want to do DCE is we actually want to track how many times each variable is being used. Um, and before what we did is we went through all of the instructions and we accumulated the uh, usages. So like when we did our optimization passes here, we had a metadata structure where we accumulated kind of uh, what all was used um, in the graph. Where was that at? Um, uh, I guess we did it while we explored. Yeah, for each of the inputs, mark that uh, we have a usage of that uh, register. So what we're going to do is... Um, how do we want to do this? <laughs> How many years of not going outside do you have under uh, your belt? Uh, a couple, a couple. I, I've not been outside a, a couple times in my in my day, once or twice. Um. So the question is, how do I want to track where IL registers are used? Um. Hmm. If an output is not used, um, I'm trying to see if there's a way that we can do this. Uh, I mean, of course, there's a way that we can do this. I'm trying to find the best place in the code to hook this, and it might be when we um, when we make a reference here. Um, oh, that's not necessarily going to work. Well, um, if we hook at alloc ref, um, hmm, hmm, thinking colon, um, we really want to know where all of the IL registers are used as inputs, which is more specifically where all the references are used. Basically, for inputs, we want to know the frequencies they're used and we can do that here. When we do an instructions.push, let's try this, chat. Um, okay. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to have a structure for optimization. Uh, this is uh, optimization um, metadata, uh, which is uh, updated as changes are made to the IL. And I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have uh, reg use vec... Um, and how do we want to do reg uses? Ref index. This number has to be larger than kind of both of these. I don't necessarily know what I want to use here for this storage. Um, thoughts? Ref index. We could also just do a u size um, uh, indexed by the um, IL register. Indexed by the IL register uh, tracks the number of times that register is used as an input to an IL instruction. What are we listening to today? I haven't quite decided yet. I have my playlist on all random. Epica just came up, which is uh, symphonic metal, um, but it's on all random. Why not a hash map? Hash maps are way too slow. Hash maps are way too slow. So you'll see we pretty much never use hash maps. 
Why can reg index not be used instead of uh, use size? It can be. Um, but this is the uh, frequency of usage, which can... Um, F index. Hmm. Hmm. Um, are we listening to something? Not publicly. It's just for myself. Uh, vacuum size, uh, yeah, you size is the, uh, yeah, you size is yeah the the values. Yep. Um. Hmm. We could honestly probably do like a. We can just change this as we need to. I think that one I'll just leave, kind of as is. Um. Opt optimization. Uh, optimization uh, metadata. And then this is uh, derive default. Then we have to go down to here. Opt optimization. Optimization default. Okay. Um... So let's try this. Um, resolve. Yeah, we want to resolve that into a register. Um, uh, reg self uh, ref. Ref ref index. Uh, yields an option, uh, which is a reg index, which is a reg, actually. Um, this is, uh, look up a, uh, reference R and, uh, return the, uh, reg if the reference is to a register. Um, self dot values get, uh, actually self dot values are, oh, if let sum, if let value reg reg is equal to this, then, uh, reg else none, sum none. Okay. Um, and this needs a reg index. Good, good, good. All right. So now what we can do is, um, update register use metadata. So now we're going to accumulate this while we create instructions rather than do, uh, an ON, uh, sweep through the graph, which is, uh, kind of interesting. And I think this should work fine. Update register use metadata, and then here it will say um, if let sum x is equal to uh, self dot reg x, um, then we have a register there, in which case we'll do self dot opt dot uh, reg use dot. Uh, specifically, we want to do reg uh, plus equals one, basically. Um, okay. Uh, yep. So this needs to be as u size, I think. What is the... That's a reg index, and a reg index should implement into, I think, for use size. Should it not? Uh, 
Uh, reg index. A reg index is an indexer. Uh, okay, so this actually has this. I don't know why I thought that was a word. Um, as you says, whoops. Nice. So X and Y, and then we have this. Now this is going to panic. Yep, out of bounds, which is great. Um, what we're gonna do is when we allocate a register, um, this is uh, resize the metadata structure uh, such that it can index all registers. Uh, self dot opt dot uh, reg use dot resize and then it's the new length, which is self dot next reg dot zero. Um, so we're going to resize it to this size, and this is an as u size. So we're going to resize this to the new register size. So if we allocate the first register, this will be checked ink, so it will be one. We resize reg use to be one, such that we always grow that when needed. Perfect. And now we have room for all of the aisle registers here. Um... Oh, that's fucking nice, chat. So X and Y. If those are registers, then we uh, update the register usages of those uh, registers. Um. Okay. So this is cheap. This is fine. Um. Technically, we might be better off doing this at these sites where we resize it when we update it it's like really hard to say um technically we don't need to do resize we can just push uh zero right because if we allocated one register then we allocate space from one register here um and that's good there as well um Technically, this might cause some more real allocations, but since we're going to reuse graphs, I actually think it, it will converge to being faster in the end to do it here rather than here, because here we have to check it more frequently, because this happens when we construct a new graph, uh, and this will all get reset when we reset a graph, such that this won't actually cause the backing allocation to, to grow, which is actually really big. Um, so I do like that. So uh, let's do a print of... Um, il dot reg, and none of these uh, regs should be private. Okay, reg is private, so we never actually give a reg to a user, so we can actually go from references to regs. Find their opt uh, dot uh, reg use. So this is going to give us the register usage structure, and you'll see that it doesn't print anything because we did. Because we print the, that because we didn't scroll up. That's why, chat. Um, okay. So we should have the first instruction should be used a shit ton. Uh, but then subsequent ones won't be really used at all. Um, yeah, zero. A thousand uses of ILR, zero. And zero uses of these. Fantastic. Um, do you dream about code? I do dream about code relatively frequently. Okay, so anywhere that we do an into ref, we have to do that, do we not? Right? All the things that take a value have into refs. Chat, you see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this, chat? I think we have a universal hooking spot. Um, into ref, all of those use into ref, into ref, into ref into ref yep and you know what that means chat fuck yeah uh converts uh registers into references uh convert values into references commands wait we don't have a commands command sorry uh and then uh, sp i'll source into ref now an into ref um, oh, check this out. If it's a word, then we alloc a ref for the, uh, for the word. If it's a ref, we just do it already. Um, 
we know that the other one is a word. So this is actually the only place that we have to do it because in this situation, it's a word and thus it's not a register. So it won't resolve here. Uh, okay. Holy shit, chat. Um... So if it's an existing reference, then we get the, re uh, the reference for that, 29. Um, graph opt. Yep. Graph opt, reg use, x. That looks up, uh, this is graph.reg. And then self in this point is actually a reference. Um, so we're just reusing that reference. And now this actually is correct. It was 1,000 before. Now it's 1,001. That is because we didn't have a uh, reg write, uh, which is the last instruction, which writes out that value. And now that's being updated too. So now any place that we do an into ref, which should be anywhere that we have a register. So we literally added that to one location. That's exactly what I want to see. So here, those do into refs. This one, um reg read that allocates one for an output so that one is not actually using it into ref for the input into ref for the one input there into ref for the input into ref for both x and y and that's everything this should universally cover everything god that's so fucking cool i love when code works like that oh that's amazing <sighs> makes me so fucking happy uh self dot instructions dot retain and then we're going to keep instructions such that the instruction, uh, um, we're going to get the output from an instruction. And we're just going to do this. Um, instruction. Beautiful. Hell yeah, it is. It really actually turned out fucking amazing there. Uh, reg reads, reg writes will never remove um, add output, comma, that. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to pull in all of the variants of that. Uh, we have an add, a sub. We have uh, an add, a sub, an and. We have an or. We have a Zor. We have a shift left. We have a shift right. We have a shift arithmetic right. Um, we have a sign extend. And we have a zero extend. And we have a set conditional. Oh, uh, this. Damn, it just barely didn't fit. Okay, so if it's an add, an add, a sub, an and, an or, a zor, a shift left, a shift right, a shift arithmetic right, a sn extend. Do you know sn language, you fuckers? Sign extend, zero extend or set conditional, all of these can be DCE'd. So we will say if let sum x is equal to graph.reg o. So if um, if we output a register, uh, everything else retain. If we output a register that has no usage, remove it. Um, dot map x, uh, self, uh, this is self. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. That's okay. We'll just do, um, this. If self dot opt dot reg use of o to use size. Um, true. Uh, 
False. True. So retain everything. Then we have an early return here, which I like. Uh, if reg use is equal to zero, then return false, which means that will return false out of a closure to retain, which will cause us to drop that. Um, to use size on O. What? That gives an option reg reg index. Reg use. Oh, as you says, thank you. DC has turned out much simpler than before. Absolutely it has. Uh, and we don't have to remove the knobs. Um, we can just deref that. Right, ref should implement clone and copy. It does. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Um. <sighs> hmm. You know what would be really cool in Rust? If you could say like this. If you could explicitly specify you only need that one field. God, that'd be fucking amazing. That would actually be really interesting. I feel like they could do that. Where you would like bind only the things. Hmm. Associated struct members when... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Um, in this case, this is actually fine. Um, this is convenient because it cuts down on bloat, but in this case, it's I'm I'm not losing too much sleep over this. Um, so we'll say O dot zero is U size. Uh. If reg usage is zero. Uh, and then we pull in value here. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. Um, Can you use dot dot like on these matches? We could do that. Um, okay, so what do we want to do here, chat? Um I don't know. I think putting in knobs is gonna be faster. Similar to what we did before. What is this? Wait, what is this? What is this? Wait, what? No, wait, what? Can you do that on self? Can you do that on self? Rust self destructure. Can you s do this? Is that a thing that you can do? You can do this? You can. But what is this? Like, how do you have that be a ref? I, I, I don't understand how you would do that.
Like this? Because I'm binding values here. Use the ref keyword on, on where? <laughs> on where? I didn't know you could do this. Holy shit. This might actually be like the biggest thing I've ever learned about Rust. Where the fuck do I put ref? Put it where I would have, so I don't know. Um, with the let binding in the function body. Yep. Backwards incompatible. Bar and self would be uh, suddenly equivalent to self that, which would break method calls. Um, in a function body. Yeah, I know I can do that, but that, like this? Is that an updated link? Because, like, that's basically what I already have. The problem is it's it's thinking that's an associated function because it doesn't know that it takes a self parameter. Now I think this still works. I think this is still fine because I can probably just do graph reg graph. Um, yeah, like this would work, right? Or whatever. Uh, it's not reg. Uh, bu -bu 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 uh, what was it looking up? Oh, self is the thing. Graph and self. There we go. Right. Um, can I use a small s here? No. After the colon? Nope. Because that's a type. Well, let's even see if this works here. In this context, uh, can we do um, reg uh, O? So do a look up on O. Dear of that. Yeah, it still doesn't... It doesn't fix that problem. Um... Hmm. Let me ask. Um, let's see what we got here. This would be really cool. Okay. General. Um... Let's see.
New topic. And we'll ask about, um... Um, I'm asking, I don't think there is one, but let's just see. Um, Let's see, uh, uh do, 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 all the compiler, I tried doing this. Okay, we'll see what they say. In reality, it'd be really cool if the compiler just automatically tagged the fields that were used, because it has to have similar code that it's already using uh, for, um, it has to have similar code that it's already using for closures when it does the same sort of logic. You can do the swap instructions. Yeah, that's what I traditionally do. Okay, so, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to add a NOP instruction. Um, NOP. Um, temporary, uh, instruction used to remove instructions during optimization passes without having to actually delete them. Right? So, a temporary instruction used to remove instruction during optimization passes and then we can get rid of this. We can say uh, for inst in self dot instructions. And the reason we're doing this is because we have to update the metadata as well. We have to update the reg use thing. Um, no, we don't. Wait. Wait. Because removing registers doesn't change. Removing instructions no longer changes registers. Oh, ho, ho, shit. Because the output registers are actually in the enum variants. Okay. So if there's no usages of them, then we can throw them away. Uh, 17, good. Uh, value, pull that in. And basically just delete these things. Now we have all these registers here that are allocated but not used. That's okay. Um... We could also reallocate uh, registers that were at one time freed or no longer used, but I don't necessarily know if I want to do that or not. Um, okay. Would you re recommend implementing a compiler in Rust? Oh, yeah, for sure. Rust is just a great language for it. Doesn't FN Funk uh, ref self self work? Mm, didn't seem to. Because when you passed in self, it assumed that all of self was going to be used. Um, be automated as it is done in closures in 2021 Rust. Uh, but I don't know how hard that would be. Okay. Seem to? Yeah, like that works, that builds, that's fine. Uh, but you still need to pass in self and the compiler doesn't see that as only needing self.a, it sees it as you still need all of self. So it doesn't solve our problem. Um, are you a lead hacks or hell? Yeah, I am. 
Okay, so we can just, yeah, literally, if reduce is zero, then remove it. Now, um, isn't that solved in Rust 2021? Only for closures. Only in closures. Um, let's see. So this is not correct yet because we don't get rid of the usages of, um, so if I were to do il.add r and five, this will not get removed here. Um, yep, because we have a bunch of usages here, even though these should get DCE'd and that's only because we have to do this as well. Um... All of these only have two inputs. Uh, X, X, Y, Y. K, X, Y, Y. X and Y. Y and X. X, that's condition and Y. Um. Oh. Those don't have Y bindings. Oh, shit. So we can't do that. Can we? No. Um. Um. Do we just have to do code duplication here? Otherwise, we need to do a dynamic sized array, which would be much more expensive. So if... Um, this is a decrement uses of inputs self dot opt reg use reg dot zero dot as use size minus equals one. Oh, uh, that's only in this condition. Uh, check if it's not used. If it is not used, we're removing it and remove it. Uh, X and Y, and we'll call these X and Y, even though we don't have to. Um, I kind of like doing this. I don't know why. Uh, okay, bam. All right, if we just get rid of sine extend and zero extend, this should just build and work now. Good, and it uh, didn't... Um, it's because it has to loop again, I think. Uh, because it needs to go through it again. I think is what's happening here. Is it needs to be able to go back through instructions. Um. Okay. Um, okay, so in this condition... I have to do the same thing. Uh, decrement. Input use. Return false. Nice. Okay. So now what we need to do is let uh, ridge len is equal to self instructions len. Uh, save original length. Uh, and then we'll return um, self.instructions.len is not equal to origlen. Uh, return uh, true if we removed any instructions. Now this should remove everything. And it did. Okay. So... One problem is we are looping through all of the instructions in these optimization passes, which is not necessarily ideal. Um, so one thing that we could kind of hypothetically do is we could actually have an outside iterator through optimization and it would invoke it on every instruction. Um, dots, um, uh, 
Um, DCE passing, I guess. I want access to self here. Actually, maybe I only get access to the optimization structure. That's one option. I can't remember if I called it optimize or not. This could be for each instruction. Uh, for pass and passes. Uh, this is going to be slower, I think. I think it's faster to just iterate through the list multiple times than to call different functions. Ah, if these get inlined, it might be okay. <laughs> it really depends if these get inlined. If these don't get inlined, then we're like really gonna be hurting performance. Okay, there's a blog post on what we were talking about here. Um. Retain is weird since sometimes you may want to update or change them. Yeah, and that's why I'm thinking about maybe having nops where you put in a nop if you want to remove them. Um, like... I don't think you can do that, can you? Um, basically, I want to cut down on the number of times that we iterate through all instructions. I want to kind of do all of the optimizations in parallel. Uh, so if we do a NOP, that might be the best. Um... So this, we can actually get a copy of it and then pass it in here such that we're passing in the same thing each time. I guess that's going to copy it every time um, rather than having a reference. Um, oh, that could go stale. It has to be a reference. I know this is the same as iter mute right now. I'm just kind of figuring out how I want to prototype this so far. Um... Uh, for inst in self dot instructions dot iter mute. For pass and passes, passing the instruction, and uh, mute self dot optima uh, opt. Um. Okay. Uh, oops, bull. Uh, false. And then in this situation, remove true. Uh, or return true. And then here, return true. Uh, indicate did something. And let's make sure this is marked for inline. Match the instruction. Okay. Uh, while continue passes is equal, uh, while continue passes is true, false. Thoughts? Uh, 
Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, instruction. TR and ref index. Okay. Um... We might just add that to the pool. Okay. It's for perf chat. It's okay. It's for perf. We can do it. Um. Okay, values. Okay, uh, uh, pass. Really? Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, inst is, uh, instruction not replace the instruction. Um, no operation, uh, used as a placeholder so we can, um, optimize without as many copies, uh, without moving as much, uh, data around. Two D five is going to be this, uh, not right. Ellen formats, not done. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yep. We have some knops now. Um, so this is uh, remove as many instructions as possible. And since we're going through in instructions sequentially, um, when we're going through instructions sequentially, uh, we might be putting more and more knobs in. So at the end, we can do self dot, um, hmm. Can I not do this? Check this out. This should build. Um, retain inst not equal to instruction not or more more specifically matches uh uh oh inverse that remove it if it is a not
This should work, right? Um, See, so yeah, I need to keep recruiting for my raid. One second. Oh, this is going to be rough. Matches? Yeah. If it does not match, is there a not matches? I'm guessing there's not. If it does not match a NOP, uh, then we keep it. So now this is the same code as before, except for automatically removing NOPs. And then when you find a NOP, when the instruction itself is a NOP, then you replace it with a NOP such that we can continue doing passes on that same instruction. Um, oh, we can't do that. We have to do a uh, drain filter, I think. Matches. When will you uh, play Tibia? Got uh, oh, that's wow. Got Tibia up right here. <laughs> um. Uh, drain filter. One second. I know I haven't caught up on chat. I know people ask some good questions. Uh, we're gonna do drain filter, and that gets a mute. Okay, we need to pull that in. Feature, drain, filter. Okay. So now you replace it with a NOP, and at the end, if it was a NOP, then we remove it. Um, so this will cut down iterations as much as possible. We'll, like, we'll iterate as few instructions as possible, and then we'll continue passing it into here. Um, arguably, we could have like an early continue. Um, Oh, drain filter is inverse, I think. Um, if it returns false, it will remain in the vector. Um, if the instruction became a uh, nop. Remove it. Right, so we pass in the mutable instruction, and then we say true, which will then filter it on true. And then we early exit, and we don't even bother going to the next pass. Continue passes. So continue passes is false. I don't know if there's a better way to write this while loop. I feel like there probably should be. And this just works. Um, and was that a speed up? How's that perf looking? 12 microseconds. Wow. Why is pass taking an instruction? Um, because that's what it's operating on. That's the instruction it's trying to optimize. Um... Blazing perf. Yeah, that's really not that bad. Let's try it with more. Okay, that print's taking a while. 19, uh, 16 milliseconds to do a million. So this should take almost two seconds. To do 100 million, two seconds. Yeah, 2.06. See if it reproduces. Yeah, two seconds. Two seconds to do a million replacements. Pretty happy with that. Or that's not a million, that's a hundred million replacements. Um, I could do that in my head. Yeah, it's 50 million a second. That's pretty good. Um, I assumed a pass would take the whole graph. It might get access to the whole graph. I'm not 100% sure how I, wanna, how I want to do this yet. Um, I'm pretty happy with this so far. If it's a register, reduce the usages of the inputs, if they're register inputs. 
replace the instruction, indicate we did something. And here, sign extend zero extend, do the same thing. So we should be, this should be full DCE. This should correctly be DCEing everything. Um, but in future passes, we might need to reference prior instructions in the graph. And I don't know how we're going to be able to do that. Um, we might have to make our own drain filter. And that's okay. We did that before. Um, but, um, hmm. Let's see. My theory here is that the optimization passes should be running entirely on metadata anyways. And if they're running entirely on metadata, then they can, um, then they don't need access to other instructions. So that's kind of my plan right now is like, my plan is that any situation, this is gonna take too long. Um, my plan is that any time that I want to refer to a prior instruction, I would actually go through the op structure to access metadata of instructions. Um, as that would be a better way to get to those. That's my current thinking. So we have DCE, and I think this is complete DCE. If the output is unused from these operations, remove the operation. Um, now what we could do is we could also implement, uh, let's implement uh, some not reductions. So we'll do um, il dot, um sub rr it's the reason you type quit instead of control deep muscle memory oh yeah and those registers aren't used okay let's try this yeah this is what i like okay so now we're gonna do um um So, let's write another optimization pass. Uh, just gonna look like this. SP idle source opt. What do we want to call this? Um, maybe this will be our simplify. Uh. And uh, symbolic expressions. Um, uh, simplified common, no op, uh, uh simplified common, um, symbolic expressions. False. Okay. Uh, simplify. Uh, mod simplify. Nice. Nice. Now we'll match the instruction. Chat. 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 Okay. We need a list of nops, chat. A list of nops. Give me your list of nops, chat. Sub. Um... Um, these are good chat. I like him. Keep him coming. Keep him coming.
Zora XX. Um. Okay, let's see what chat has. Uh, Zor self self, sub self self. Um. Uh, sub self zero, add self zero, and self zero. Zor uh self zero. Or self zero. Chat, you got more? Anything, anything that given unknown inputs, we know the result. That's, that's it. When I say a NOP, I mean, if we know what the inputs are, we know the result. Or, sorry, if, if we have symbolic inputs, we still know the symbolic output. And self-self. Terminology isn't real. Mul self zero, we don't have multiplies. And we don't need crazy amounts of these, just kind of the basics. Just kind of the basics. Um, anything here that it seems we're missing? Oh, shifts. Uh, not not x, that's two instructions. Right now we're only looking at single instructions. They have to be single instructions. Or self zero? Yeah, that, that still produces self. Or self self. We don't have rotates. So I think the only knob for shifts is zero or overshifting overshifting is also a nop but we can't do that for arithmetic so we don't have multiplies condition equals self self yeah we'll get into those um Or self one, that doesn't have a known output. Um, right, shift by bit size, shift right by, uh, uh, this is geek old a bit size. Or self not zero, we don't have a not, and we also, uh, that's also two instructions again. They have to be one instruction, one instruction. In a single instruction, we know they're not. Or self bit size ones. And a lot of these are communicative. Um, um Com communi communicative, yeah, they, they talk to each other. That's how you know, because each side talks to each other. So you can have them over here and then they don't talk to each other. Uh, and self bitwise ones, yep. Um. You need communication to be associative. No mul. Yep, we don't have multiply. Are these all good? Do we have negate? Nope. Negate's just a subtract from zero.
We have no moves. Um, adds. Add, subtract, and or Zor. Shift left, shift right, shift arithmetic right. Sign extensions, we, we have some things we can do there, but those are multi-instruction. Not sure if sub to add it or the opposite is advantageous. It's not. Because we don't have a not instruction. I feel like there should be more, but probably not. Yeah, these all look pretty good. XOR, sub self, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Um... These all have constant outputs. Zor one says not, it is. And that's actually how we will implement not in this IL. Um, if we had a not, then we would simplify it to not. But we don't have a not, because there's no not for x86 uh, AVX 512. So there's no reason to implement not, because we have to do it as a Zor anyways. Um, OK. Uh, as u size is equal to value immediate zero. So this is the ballpark what we want to do. It's not correct yet. Um, and then I think we will give ref um, partial EQ and EQ. If two refs are equal, then we know it's the same thing. Uh, yeah. And we only care about symbolic here. So all symbols will have the same reference, but constants may have different references because constants will get allocated each time they're used. Um, so there might be... This would not match on a constant here. So if we have a constant... They won't match, but that's okay because our constant propagation will actually just do that for us, right? So, since constant propagation will automatically solve that problem for us, we're just not going to worry about it here. Um, if these are two symbols and they're the same, or they're the same constant, um, the same reference to the same constant, but there's a chance that you could have the same constant but different references where this wouldn't match, but that's okay because those that would just get constant propagated. Uh, so I'm fine with that. Uh, match the instruction. If x is equal to y, then the output gets remapped. Oh, uh, ref has indexer. That's what I thought. Um, indexer has partial EQ and EQ. I think that's core compare. The interesting reductions happen when you reduce a block. Yes, I agree with that. Um... Value m is equal to uh, word default. If we have default on word, I don't know if we do. Um, what? Oh, whoa, default. You need whoa zero? Yeah. I think I have default, which uh, does it for us. But yeah, we'll also need, like, all apps and that sort of stuff as well. Um, okay. Uh, do we call simplify? I think we do, so that's not great. Um... Oh, yeah, that did work, actually. Um, 
Then we do, uh, DCE, okay. X and Y. So if X and Y are registers, then we decrement the uses of those. This is still not complete yet. Um, uh, inst is instruction nop. Return true. Are splits in Vim better, easier to use than tabs? Uh, I think so. I like it a lot more. Um, okay. So decrement the register usage for X and Y, X and Y, um, because we're no longer using them. Uh, then we replace the value with an immediate, which will replace it in place with other things. Then we replace it with a not. Um, chat, is that not cool? Is that not cool? AX equals zero. Chad, can we get some claps if you think it's cool? And no claps if you think it's lame. Dump the IR every pass. Yeah, here we go. So here is the original. And then here's the optimized. <laughs> yeah, chat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess some get some good clappies in there. Half a clap? Okay, okay. Rude. Slow clap, single clap. Not really. Oh fuck you, Re Rebel Elder. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay. So let's keep going. Right right test. Dude. Dude. No. <laughs> All right, we did Zor with self and sub with self. Okay, let's do sub with zero. Uh, D colon. D colon. Imagine writing tests. Yeah, fuck tests. What is the point of tests other than to test that you're just brilliant? Like, I know that I write better code than anyone in the world. It's just gonna be right. Um. Okay, otherwise, if let <laughs> most humble value immediate this one this one is not communicative com commu communicating it doesn't commute with others um y dot zero as e size Right? If we subtract with zero, then it becomes Um Uh oh. Uh oh. Um Um, um, shit, how do we do this? Um, uh, 
I'm not doing sub zero X. I'm doing sub X zero. Um. So. I don't know if I can do this, chat. I think if I don't use this, I'm fine. Um, if I don't assume anything on references, and where did I assume things on references? I only assumed references on these. Okay, so I cannot assume references uniquely identify a register anymore. Okay. If let's value uh, reg x is x. X uh, y dot zero as u size. Um, uh, As you size minus equals one X and Y Okay Okay Ref. No longer need compares on those, but these we can. All right. If they're both pointing to the same register, uh, Little paren action going on. Nice hat. Hell yeah. Glad you're enjoying the hat. Um, why am I doing self dot values? Do you not have to change anything that used the output of what you changed to a not to point to the input register? Uh, that's what I have to do on the uh, sub with zero, and that's why we're do going through all of this. That's why this is hard. Okay. If they refer to the same register... Everything else... Everything else. So these should be correct. If they both refer to the same register, uh, okay, sub with zero. Um, return true. Sub. 
sub. Oh, that's because we're subtracting zero and zero. Uh, that would actually get cons prop cons propped in the other pass, but let's just make that a symbolic uh, subtraction. Oh, actually, that Zor propagates it. Uh, all right, let's just do let's. Um. Uh, let t equals il dot reg read target reg axr. Uh, oops. Ax let t equals il dot sub r r. Isle dot add T R Why don't you do minus equals two? Because it's the same thing. Uh yeah, that would be smart. You know, not all of us are big brain Nikitos all the time. Uh fix up input register usage. Okay, x equals zero. Um, we can actually DCE red reg reads that go nowhere as well. Um. Really hate the code duplication here, but whatever. Bam. Uh, that's output. There's no input use. Just replace it. If it's not used, just delete it. Okay. So AX equals zero. Now, um, if we do subtract zero, now this is co this is very complex. Um, AX, ILR21 minus that. Okay, so simplify on this. This is a situation where you have subtract from a register. And we have a, um, A long shadowing like that looks dangerous to me. I actually really like shadowing. That's actually one of my least favorite things about going back to C now is not having shadowing. It, it's like fucking crazy. Uh, immediate. Zero. I can literally say if it is explicitly zero, I think. Um, zero. Technically, we know that these are all unsigned, so we can actually use min and max. What? Mom! Why the fuck is that the case? <laughs> okay, so in this situation, we want to say opt reg use. Uh. Move input register usages to outputs. It's pretty advanced. Opt reg use on um it 
if M is equal woman. Yeah, I know I can do that as well, but it doesn't change too much. Um, uh, if it wasn't going to go over 80 columns, I would have done that, but in this case it would, so it would just end up looking like this anyways. Um, Opthreg use of the input... Okay. Mm. Mm. Wait. I'm going to go the other way. I want the output, uh, move. Let's see, inputs. Your real problem is tab width? Fuck. Tab width, anything other than four. It's just wrong. And you and I both know it. Okay. All right. So swap. That was old. Uh So, if the immediate is min, we have the old output usage, which we then set to zero, because the output is no longer being used because we're about to remove this instruction. Um, Okay. Is that correct? Yep, we're going to remove this instruction and we're going to replace it with. Okay, so then we do this plus equals old. Um, update input usage. Opt dot uh, values o dot zero dot as u size is equal to is equal to values x dot zero dot as u size remap inputs uh to outputs ins is instruction nop return true uh remove instruction saying four is correct because it's the best balance yeah exactly two is unreadable Okay, so take all the usages of the output and reassign them to uh, usages of the input and then remap the output now refers to the input register. Now, do you see why I can't have, I can't compare by reference anymore? I have to compare by register because now after this occurs, we actually have two copies of the same register and values and references that refer to the same register um, through different references. Um, is that a problem, though? Is that a problem?
How's the rewrite going? It's going fantastic. Um, how is that going to be a problem? No. Yeah, no. Um... Um, uh, um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if this is wrong. I think it is. Um... Oh, chat. Chat, 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 chat. Fuck. Um. <laughs> Next rewrite. No, I might just not do this style optimization. Um. Basically, I have to go and I have to change references. To do this model, I need to apply mutations to future references. And... I don't like it. I don't like it, chat. This only happens when I forward a register to another register. So for most optimizations, we still have a much better model, especially for constant propagation. What compiler emits reg minus zero anyways? Yeah, that's fair. Um, although I might uh, emit that. Like I might do some very verbose um, lifting and expect this to optimize it out. Like if I know it will optimize it out, I'll just like directly lift everything, potentially do like transforms and stuff on it. Um, as if there's a compiler for NES, there is, CC65. Um, looks at Nesca that uses knobs for timing. Yep. Well, sure, but the target's Mario. Yeah, that's true. Um, hmm. Hmm. So Ch 
Chad, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. And I think it's possible in a faster time. Chat? Raise your hand if you're ready to be triggered. Could you do pending remappings and fix them up at the end? Not when I'm doing the interleaved optimizations, and that's also really slow because it's ON to do it. I have a non-ON solution. I have a non-ON solution. <laughs> I'm going to sink in my chair a lot for this one. A tombstone knob with an offset? Kind of, but this is actually on the values. Um, it's an IL reg load, kind of. I'm trying to figure out if this works in my head. Um, do you want a druid off tank? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you gonna yeah, probably not. Oh, hey, I don't want to uh, you can, uh. Yeah. I think it's fine. It was a misunderstanding. Yeah, I'm going to try and get this dude. Uh, I'm going to pen him in. It'll be fine. S split between two people will be fine. I mean, it'll already be slower because, I mean, this is not how we talk about Yeah. I mean, it's already slow. We just have people. Uh, Honestly, I do want a bad time. Yep. Let's see. All right. I got him pinned in. He said he main tanks on his main as well. So. Okay, hell yeah. 
Okay, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we have here. Um, does this work if we do redirections like this? Uh, basically, when we do that, I think, yeah, th this works. This works just fine. This actually needs to be a ref index. Um, uh, this is used to alias uh, values when we uh, do uh, register forwarding. Uh, for example, if we want to optimize uh, x minus zero and we remap the output to x, we need to forward all uh, references uh, through to x uh, rather than just making a new uh, reg entry in the case that x gets replaced in the futures, uh, gets replaced in the future, where it would have multiple um, in indexes without a redirect. So these redirects will be like a little bit of a slowdown, but it's really not that bad. Um, ultimately, this will be a lot faster than doing fix-ups. And these, uh, these redirections will rarely, will rarely exist, right? Like, if this redirection exists, um, uh, oh, one second, I gotta hang. Uh, okay, um... Does that make sense, chat? Does it make sense why we have to do this, like, redirection thing? It's fucking weird. Um, I want to make sure I'm doing these ref. I normally do ref then reg. Okay. Ref and then reg. Ref and then reg. Ref index, reg index. Anyone else rent out runes in their uh, place to friends, not for money, but for sanity to feel social? Mm, no, not really my cup of tea. <laughs> I can understand that, uh, but yeah. I do like having space to myself. During COVID, it was a little hard because it was harder to like go out and uh, uh, see people, but I just go out for meals pretty much every every day. So that's how I get my socialization when I need it. Ref index, reg index. Okay, that's gonna bubble, I think. <sighs> Ref index, same for simplify. Fuck yeah. Okay, okay, chat. Um, a database of a values. I think the stack of buffers is growing. Yes, it is. Uh, word. OK. 
Okay, um, internal, uh, uh, IL register and immediate mappings. Okay, so we're breaking that chain. We want to make sure that every usage of that gets us the compiler error because we need to get this shit working now. Um, uh, Okay, from a woe turns into an M, a reg turns into a reg. Fantastic. Values will pull in from value. Uh, private structure, uh, pub super. Beautiful. Okay, uh, use alloc vec vec. Done. All right, that's what I wanted to see. Self.values. All right, this is now going to change. Self.values. Now we can impl on this. Bam. Uh, fn. Uh Okay. Function of FN Um what do I want to call this? Collapse uh, uh well, abs abs path um we're going to call it resolve. Legend has it, if you wrap up a buffer too far, it'll wake the beast. This is... Um... This is uh, given a reference, resolve the, um, given a reference, resolve the reference to the, uh, uh, given a reference, walk values until the uh, redirect chain ends. Uh, this will return a reference to the final um, result, right? While let value redirect x equals self values x dot zero dot as u size. Let me mute x is equal to x dot zero as u size. Um, x equals next as u size. Uh, walk uh, redirects. And then ref x. Uh, create new reference. Is that correct, chat? I think so. Um, okay, while it's a redirect, forward. Then at the end, create a new reference. Um, this will work in all conditions. Fantastic. Um, fn, it's actually the union find structure. 
I need optimizations to update the array after you've traversed it, since you know the ending point. Um, oh, I see. So if there's a chain of like two, have a chain of only one. Um, so we go through these values and then we want to replace, the last redirect, right? Um, if let some, uh, if let value redirect, Index is equal to self dot values arrange dot zero as u size. Uh, get mute. Uh, if we started with a redirect, collapse it to the final result. Um. I can do this, right? Index is equal to X. Um, this will compress the Chain to only one redirect, right? That's that's true, right? And find P, return that, find that, yeah. Um, technically, I could save the first one. Right, and I could cache this. Ah, uh, I can't do that because I'm borrowing a thing. All right, this should work fine, right? If we started with a redirect, then we replace that redirect with the final location, which is X, and X is just an index into the list, right? So if we did have a chain, we now no longer have a chain, which is really cool. Thanks for that idea, touch typing. I think there might be slightly better ways to structure this, but I don't think it's really worth the engineering. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, Um, chat, I think this is good. Uh, block redirects. If we started with a redirect, collapse it to the final result, um, and then create a new reference. Uh, Sorry, I'm a little distracted trying to organize raid. Uh...
Okay, uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, we're gonna resolve this. Um, and we're gonna resolve, and then we can do... Oh, wait, that's not gonna work, because that needs to now be mutable. Which is okay. It's okay. Chad, it's okay. Uh, now we need to then... Um... What do we do down here? Self dot values. Anywhere we do values. Dot values. Let's just see where we do this. Self dot values. Uh, uh, FN push mute self. Um, create a new uh, value. Uh, add add a value value to the um add a value to the b -b 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 list of values What do you think about Golang? I think it's inferior to Rust, but it's a good language. Uh, self.values.push val into uh, value whoa ref index reg index um, val val ret this this okay ret Okay. Result ref ref index. Uh, self dot values dot push val. Fuck yeah. Guessing we need error. We do. Self values one try into. Fantastic. Okay, so now we have a way of adding a value to the list of values, um, which isn't public enough, but that's okay. We'll make these things a little bit more public as we need to. Um, and then finally, we'll also have fn. It's really hard to say if this redirect collapsing is even worth it because it adds overhead when redirects are going to be really rare. Uh, and it also makes this mutable. I'm going to... You know what I mean, chat? Um... You know what I mean, chat? I uh, get the register referred to by this uh, reference. Okay. Self.resolve R, then uh, resolve register, resolve uh, references, then if that else none, some reg. Gone. Uh, this is going to be self.values. Reg L U. Oh, uh, FN look up. Um, you get the value referred to by the reference. Then this will resolve references. Um, or resolve, uh, not references, resolve redirects. 
And then uh, self.values r.0.as dot dot usize. Then this will do self.lookup. Ah? Ah? Resolve or look up. So we want to look up that value that's going to resolve that and then give the result. Um, ref x, blah, 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 at the end. Okay. We'll do we'll do uh, lookup is pub and reg is pub, and then this is uh this is pub super, and resolve can be internal. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's just expert. Nice. Uh, you know what? We should probably return this. Value. Um, whoa. Ref index, reg index. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll just deref that. Nice. Nice. We're making progress, chat. We're making progress. Uh, values default. 241. Dot into. So they're planning to upload this series to YouTube? Yes, once I just uh, get a night where I don't want to use my internet. Okay. Okay. Uh, this. Update register use. The fuck is reg? Oh, we got rid of that. Um, so if let sum graph dot uh values dot reg x huh huh oops um self it's a reference okay now these Take a values. Now we're going to value town. Okay. 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 Values. All right. Values. Um, b -b 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 Match these two. That's simplified. DCE. Uh, let's look at DCE first. Uh, if let sum reg is equal to values dot reg o. Let sum x values dot reg x. Chat. This is insane. We're so smart, chat. It's all because chat is just so smart. If the output has no usage, then values.reg x. Oops. Supposed to go here. Um, here we go. Output. Okay. X, Y.
Well, what's what's the 6502 ooh speak? We got some ooh speak going on here? Any ooze in chat? Okay. Get the register. If it's not used, not. Get the register. If it's not used, get rid of the one input usage. Replace it. Uh, if it has no usage, uh, update the registers for those. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just have to put some old D-Refy boys in here. A couple D-Refy boys. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Do some D-Refies. Yeah, 60. Another D-Ref. Then DCE should be complete. Values, X at values. Oh, that's in simplify. Values dot zero. Values, X dot zero, as you size, will become values dot red dot lookup X. Mom. Mom. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. Uh, X, Y. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now. Um, replace a, um, replace a value at, uh, ref, uh, without resolving redirects, right? Fn replace mute self r ref ref index v value or ref index reg index. Hmm. Uh. With an immediate. Uh, self dot values r dot zero dot. Uh, as u size is equal to value m v. And we're strongly typing that as it's an M, because that's what we're going to be doing in a lot of these cases. Values.replace M uh, O with woe default. Okay, same thing here. O gets replaced with default. And then we have a remap here. Uh, remap mute self. Um, replace ref. With a redirect to uh, to other uh, ref r uh, replaced ref ref uh, ref index to other ref ref index uh, self dot values r dot zero dot as you size is equal to value redirect other other dot zero because it just contains the raw uh, ref index. Okay, so now that will allow us to redirect that. And then this can be a pub crate 
this as well as pub traits. Okay. Values, remap. O remaps to X. X. Um. Ref X, ref Y. Ref X, ref Y. Ref X. So O is a reference. We're going to say ref O as well. Uh, ref O. Oh, no. Uh, same thing up here. We're going to say ref O, ref X, ref Y. Ref X, ref O. Uh, ref X, ref Y. Fuck. Um, debug. Match self. Say that's unreachable. We're polluting a lot with that mute. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Um, even though we can collapse that, and I really like that, and it's really cool that we can collapse that here, I don't like having these be mute when we're just doing getters. Um, actually, we'll put these at the end. What does a redirect mean in the context of this? This is actually pretty complex. Um, this is... This is redirecting aisle registers to other aisle registers. It's a crazy optimization. <laughs> uh, but we should be good now. We don't have vec anymore on that. We don't have vec on simplify anymore. Um, let me just make sure everything works. Uh, not using value on DCE anymore. Uh, 416. Uh, not using these. Okay, we yep, yeah, that makes sense. Those are the actual test functions. Uh, we killed value on simplify. When we actually wanted to kill it on DCE. Bam. Good. What do we have now? If let. Yep, just because we only have one binding and that makes sense. All right. Holy shit, chat. We did it. So DCE, we've looked at that. We're happy with DCE. Code gen looks pretty good there. Uh, now we want to... Oh, shit. Sub with zero works now. So basically... We've resolved the register X. We're going to redirect our output into X. So we get our output reference usage. Um, this is wrong. This is wrong too. Okay, let's uh, take a quick look at these. Uh, this should be on... Yeah, these are wrong. 
Um, okay. This one's correct. Um, okay. Uh, power FN reg use. FN reg use. Uh, mute self. Reg use mute. Reg, reg. Mute U16. I uh, get a mutable reference to the register usage of reg. Self dot reg use reg dot zero dot uh, as use size. And then this is a uh, reg index. Which is a indexer. Um, let's do this. Okay. This way we're actually tied with the specific reg indexer of the thing that uses uh, the optimization structure. So now if we go to 177, now we have to associate here. And now when you call that function, you can't use anything that's a reg index, which is an improvement. Okay, now all these are like tied together a little bit tighter, which is good. All right, that's good. Uh, and now let's go and break usage of reg values. Um, RG reg use uh, aisle source. Okay, into ref does it. Reg use uh, mute. Now we're going to do this on X. And now we've strongly typed that that has to be a register. Uh, make this should build. Good. Okay, so now we won't fuck up because you're gonna see the bugs that we had that were pretty bad here. Uh, so these, if we change this to uh, reg use mute, um, reg use mute, gone. And this is on. X, it's actually fine. Uh, and then this one is X. Uh, and then this one is on refo. Which is wrong, and we'll fix that later. But I just want to make sure this, uh, this fails in the way that we want it to. Reg use square bracket. No, square bracket. Okay. Um, 
DCE. Uh, this one's also wrong. Reg use mute. Reg. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, get uh, the registry usage of reg. Okay, and then this is that. And then this is a self, and then this is a u16. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, reg use, reg use in DCE. Reg use mute of X. Reg use of reg. Reg use mute of X. Then why? One ninety four and one ninety nine. Those are the only two that are allowed. Now it's strongly typed. Now you have to use a reg, and we're gonna have a lot of issues here. Oh, that's reg use. Now we're gonna have a lot of issues. Yep. And look at all these. Wait. 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 Uh. Okay. We're getting there, chat. It will build soon. There we go. There we go. And that's why we did all of that. <laughs> was because this was a bug. 36. So this needs to be uh, values.lookup ref x which is actually just X. Um, same thing here. So X. Uh, that's simplify. Let's look at DCE. If the output register is not used, then replace it with a no op. If it's not used, then if we have an input in X, uh, if it is a register, then decrease the usages of that register. Done. Right? Reg use mute, X, decrease. Um, and that's going to fail, which is good. And then reg, decrease X, decrease Y. Simplify. Uh, for this case, we're removing an instruction entirely. They're both the exact same. So X and Y are the same. So we can reduce uh, my, by two. Then we can uh, replace the output uh, with a zero. Um, and replace. Uh, that'll replace it without resolving that reference. And that's good. That's actually what we want, because we want it to only be this usage. Uh, this one as well. Let's go through. Oh, is that actually correct? Um. Hmm. I don't see where this would be incorrect, but I could see where it could potentially become incorrect. Um, this is really tough. Um, basically, I'm having second thoughts of whether I want to directly replace the value here. And I think in this case, it's OK. Because I know that O should be the output of XOR. And that, that will never be redirected. The output should never be redirected from an instruction. 
So even though we redirect the output from an instruction here, we then remove that instruction so it no longer has a registered output. Right? We've basically uh, unlinked something. So I think this is still OK. Uh, and this decreased the register usage. This is a sub of x and x. Um, replace an immediate. Replace the output with 0. Uh, with an immediate 0, and then return true. And then on this one, if we're, we have a value and we're subtracting 0 from it, then um, get the register usage for ref0, which is wrong, and that's going to fail. That's OK. Now we can go and fix up all these things. 63. Um, we could even be more pedantic, and we could say values.lookup uh, ref0. Um, but that's just always going to be the case. Um, uh, the unwrap is okay there, in my opinion. Right? That's my viewpoint, is that the unwrap is okay here, uh, because there will never be a situation where that won't be correct. Refo, in this case, we're directly replacing. Refo, then in this one, we're resolving that register. So we're looking up the register associated with the output, and then we replace it. I think this is now correct. And this is fucking crazy. This is crazy cheap. Wow. So if we got rid of this, if we got rid of this optimization, um, sub r0 to t, and then let's write out t, so that's resolved. The other stuff will just get dce'd. So 0 minus 0, and then that's stored. Um, if we put this in, that should propagate that 0 through. Oh. Oh, because it's not a register. Um, if we do t minus 0, this should be ax equals 0. Uh, subtract with overflow. Really? 67 here. Ooh. Oh. That is wrong. We only have one input. So this one, we have two inputs, 1, 2. This one, we have two inputs, 1, 2. And they're both the same. x and y are the same. This one, we only have one input, and now this is correct. AX is ILR22. Mmm. Mmm. Um... Wait. I don't use old here. Correct? Update input usage. Um, then move old into new. Uh, mold, old, move old uh, usages into new. And then this will be op.reg use mute of x plus equals old. Um, do we want a minus one? There's one fewer reference. Do we just move them all? I'm trying to think about that. I think so. Um, well, we're deleting one instruction, so it actually might be minus one. Yeah. Um, uh, decrement usages of the inputs. 
uh, as we're removing this instruction. So we remove this instruction, we decrement the usages of it, and then we're moving old usages into the new one because that's what uh, basically the consumers of our output The consumers of our output are now consumers of X, but we ourselves are not a consumer of X. And then we do a remapping. And now it's correct. Yeah. Uh, you could see without this, we DCE'd. Um, we ended up DCEing the, the read, and then that's like really fucked. Um, but with this, we don't have that anymore. AX gets redirected. All right, and the original was ILR22 is AX, ILR23 is 22 minus 0, and then we had that. Um, let's go and pretty print. Uh, we're going to print the register usage before and after. Make sure that that is looking sane. Okay, so we had 12 uses of 0, 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uses of zero. And then we had one use of each of these as we chained them. Right? One is used here. Three is used here. The other ones are not used. Four, so we should have one striding pattern. Then we get to the end. Um. Um, yeah, this would be 22. So there's one use of 22 here, and there's one use of 23 here. We then do everything, and then there's just one use of 22 at this point. And that makes sense. Everything's been propagated correctly. Holy shit, chat. <laughs> that was fucking hard. That was fucking hard. Um... And then that redirection should work, right? Um, so when we look up a register, we, redire uh, we follow the redirects and, you, and we resolve it. When we replace one, whether with an immediate or not, we end up only replacing at that level. And is that going to fuck us? Will we ever have an immediate get redirected? No. We'll only have outputs get redirected to inputs. And outputs are always registers. Um, okay. Holy shit, chat. Okay. Sub self zero. Done. Uh, now we can do the same thing. And add with zero. And we should be able to do value m, m, and value reg x. So regardless of the ordering, this, if it's zero, then we just remap. Um, oops. Uh, what? Look up those two. Oh, we're outside of the match. What editor are you using? This is just Vim. Okay. Uh, on Linux? Yep. Uh, wow. Okay, now let's try it. Uh, so previously, if we didn't add with zero, it would stay in there. And we can do that by just 
commenting out uh, this branch. We can say if we don't have this optimization, adds with zeros shouldn't get propagated. And in this case, okay, that if m is min, then we have this redirect x, and that's not working because that's zor. That's not actually sub. Okay. Match. Okay. That. All right. If we have an add, if it has one register input and one immediate input, and the immediate is zero, then we uh, we're about to replace the output. So we get all the usage of the output, and we replace the output usage to zero. Uh, we resolve all the way down to that register. We then move that register. Uh, we decrement it because we're reducing this instruction. Then we move the old usages into the new register, which we're redirecting to. And then we redirect the output into uh, x, which is the input. And now we should have plus 0 gets redirected and folded down. Uh, and further, 0 comma t should also get simplified. Uh... Oh, really? Aha, because we're using refx. I see. Um, yeah. So. How the fuck do I want to do that? How do I want to do that? Chat. Thoughts? We can DRF those. Sixty four refx doesn't need a DRF anymore. Nice. All right. So t plus 0 uh, is considered a NOP. And t plus 1, this should actually emit these instructions and keep them around. Yep. And we have one usage of each of these, ILRF 22 plus 1. Uh, and then 0 and t. OK. Then if we do a sub, subs are not uh, not going to not gonna go like that. OK, so a sub, 0 minus that is not a NOP, but sub t minus 0 is an op, and then that one should get removed as well. Uh, similarly, if we XOR uh, t with t, this should uh, end up with just a 0 being directly assigned. Um, we have a register usage here. On 23. Hmm. Uh, when we replace an immediate, 
When we replace the reference with an immediate, uh, we also have to drop the ref count to that to zero. Um, values dot uh, opt reg use mute of um, values dot reg ref o unwrap is zero. Um, deletes all uh, references to the uh, output uh, register as it's being replaced with an immediate. Then we unwrap that because we know it should be a register. We get the register usage for that and we set it to zero. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, so we're not using the inputs anymore from this ins this specific instruction inputs not being used. This remapping, we are correctly decrementing our instructions usage and then moving the, uh, the usage on there. Delete all references here. Regus mute is now zero. And then I think we, have, we don't have another uh, replace. So anywhere that we do a replace, we should also be uh, deleting those. Okay. So it's just these two, and we're replacing ref O, and then we're also going to kill the register usage chain of that immediate. Okay. Done. Okay. No register usage on anything. All right, uh, add TNT, this should work still. This should add those two ILRs. We should have two references to these, one reference to the output. Fantastic, and then let T equals IL.sub TNT, and that is a NOP, and that should cause everything to resolve to zero and everything zeroed out. Holy shit. I think that works, chat. It is pretty crazy, but it works. Okay, chat, are we happy with that? Because I'm fucking stoked. Uh, we have a uh, reduction of and. We have a reduction of and if an immediate is zero and we're anding against zero. Uh, we have a couple ands. So if we're anding with zero, um else if m is equal to whoa max um and and with ff all ones is a uh is a pass through in which case if we have an and with all ones we're gonna remap the output same shit right we can make functions and closures here to simplify this code a little bit more but anding with a maximum with the largest possible value, which is all Fs, uh, we're going to get the old. We're going to remap that. So the output redirects into the one register because that is how that works. Then we have uh, we have an and with zero. An and with zero. Uh, and with zero is zero. Okay, so we don't use the input registers anymore. We then replace the output. We then replace that with a zero, and then we nop it. Bam. Okay, so now we should be able to optimize these as well. Uh, so let's take a look here. So let's take, uh, let's do a let t equals il dot and t and zero. So now we should just have, we should just be writing, um, we should just be writing out a zero to ax. Ah, okay, that's good, that's good. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. 56. Once again, uh, in this case, one of them is a register. Only one is a register. In this case, only one is a register. In this case, only one's a register. Two is a register. Okay, that makes sense. All right, AX equals zero, no refs. Nice, 
Nice. Nice. Okay, and then if we do uh, and with not zero, AX should be equal to ILR22, only one usage of 22. Okay. Uh, so we have that, we have that, and self and self. Um, so how do we want to do this? Oh, shit. Something happened. What happened? Sire Volt, uh, thank you for the $7.77. Freedom gets you pwned. Rack attack. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. I'm super excited for that project. Um... Chat, are you ready to remove code duplication? Because I think we're going to remove some code duplication. I know, I know you like code duplication. I know it's hard and code duplication is fun. But we're going to fucking do it. Only if it doesn't require macros. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm. but more code, more better, and add sub. Okay, so we have two operations that we potentially do, and then I think we're gonna do a, a pretty aggressive match here. Uh, we're gonna do values that look up. Ref O. Okay. Ref O. Ref X. Um, here's our beautiful match statement. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a match. We're going to resolve everything. We're also going to give the... Uh, yeah, we're going to resolve everything to their value. And then we're also going to uh, associate that input with the um, reference. Then we have a couple optimizations we can do. Um, so this is an optimization. Um, if we have... And self self is self. That's a problem. Um, so um Um, can I do macro rules here? Sweet. Fuck yeah. Um, so this is a uh, remap output to input. Okay, we have an output and we have an input ref. Uh, we have a input which is, yeah, a ref. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay, so in this situation, we want to remap an output. I'll just say ref o. Uh, ref i. Ref i. Ref o. Okay, we have a ref o. Values dot reg. Uh, we'll do reg o, which is this. Okay, so we're going to get the register usage of... We're going to set the register usage... Uh, okay. Replace uh, register usage of the output with zero as we're... Uh, no longer going to use this output. Okay, uh, decrement usages of the input as we're removing this instruction, which has uh, one register input. Um, hmm. Inputs. Okay. Uh... So this is the number of inputs that are being removed, the number of register inputs that are being removed. Um, decrement usages of the inputs as we're removing this instruction. Then move the old ones into new, and this is X. And in this case, this is gonna be uh, reg I. Reg I, reg I, and then replace the instruction with an op. Yeah? We actually don't need this match here. Um, we can make these macros here. What the hell was that? Uh, <laughs> what? What did I do? It's been a while since I did whatever I did. Did I make a noise? Okay, macro rules. Your sneeze? Oh, I sneezed? Damn. I don't remember sneezing. Uh, ref out. Maybe a death spasm. Uh, it was a strange sneeze. I don't remember sneezing, chat. Not a good sign. Okay. Output. Uh, this is going to be rego. Oh, we need refo as well. We have a, a refo, and we have a rego. All right, uh, which is this. So there's no more usages of the outputs. Um, inputs. And then immediate. Okay, so this is uh, replace instruction with immediate. Replace instruction with immediate. Uh, subtract the register usage of... Oh, this is... Uh, reg X. X per... Okay. Okay. Okay, chat. There's like 200 lines of code before. Let's see what it's going to be now. Match an instruction. If it's an and... Uh, you know what? I kind of do like this.
Um. I guess we're going to match internally again. It's going to be gross. I already hate it. Uh, match here. Um... What? 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 What did I do to my indenting? Ah, there it is. Wait. No, don't taunt me with Rust format. That'd be awful. Rust format's fucking disgusting. Okay, chat. What are the nops? Um. Ref O. Rego. And that's a lookup. So if, if we have a reference to an output and a, reg, uh, a, a register output, and then we have an input, ref x uh, value reg o x, Uh, reg x, and then we have uh, a ref that we don't care about, and then we have a value immediate m. Okay, so here's one situation if we have an output register, we have an input register. And the instruction is a, a sub. Then, uh, where m is equal to wo min. Replace an instruction with no. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Remap output to input. And this takes a lot of args. Uh, we could close some of these windows if you want, chat. You could have just said it earlier, you know. Mm. Um, okay, so we have a ref O. We have a reg O. We have a ref X. Uh, we'll say reg immediate or reg input. Ref input. We have a reg input. We have another number of inputs that are register based, which is one. We have one register based input. Correct? Ref o rego, ref i reg i. And then we have one input, which is a register, which is this one. So we're gonna decrement the usage of that once or whatever. Uh, if 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 not where? Uh, and everything else does nothing. Okay, so hypothetically, hypothetically, chat, if we were to do a sub of t and t, this will be a zero now. 
No, it won't be a zero. This will be... Uh, what did we just do? We did sub with zero. A sub with zero should redirect to the input, and it does. And we have one usage of that. There we go. So instead of this, we now have this. Chat, can we get a clap? Can we get a clap in chat? An easy clap? Uh, all right. All right. What other patterns do we have that have this same shape? An add. An add. An add with zero has the same property. So now we can do an add with zero. Let's try this. What's this going to look like? There we go. Now an add with zero will uh, also collapse. Look at that. Is that not cool, chat? Is that not cool, chat? Damn right it's cool. Because I'm cool. Um, actually, we're going to do add over here. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. This. Uh, reg, reg I. Bam! Bam! This is clean, chat. Um, so this is operations with one register input and one immediate, which, uh, can be reduced regardless of ordering. Um, operations with one register input and one immediate, which can be reduced... Only if the uh, right hand side is the immediate, right? So this is reg, reg, immediate on the right, and a sub against a zero is only remappable if the zero is on the right side. But for an add, it can remap regardless of whether the input is on the left side or the right side, and then this will handle the mappings of those. So in either of these situations, we can do a remapping. So now, if we do an add with zero, this will get optimized here. And then if I, oh, up, 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 uh, is it not this? Um, oh, because it matches that first. Shit, I can't do that. I can't do that, can I? Because it matches this as well, and then pff, nothing happens. <sighs> um, adds or subs can get converted there, and here we go. All right, there we go. An add with zero gets uh, reduced, and a zero with an add also gets reduced. All right, what other ones do we have, chat? We have and. Um, it's actually uh, an and if m is equal to woe min. So for anding with zero, um, then we do a replace instruction with an immediate, and we're going to replace, uh, ref o, reg o, reg i, or uh, ref i, uh, oh, actually just reg i, reg i, we have one input that's getting replaced, and the immediate is going to be zero. So now an and with zero. An and with zero can now also be collapsed. Expert, uh, yes, replace with immediate. Uh, oh, oh, this is woman. So if we're ending with zero, uh, then it's a zero. So an and with zero is just resolved to a zero, and it doesn't matter which order that is. So if we do an and this direction as well, this is also, this is also a zero. Um, nice. And then if that's a one, it will actually emit that operation. 
And there it is. Okay, so that's and with zero. Then we have an and with ff. And an and with a max is actually a remap. Uh, and only one input. So here we go. This is a remap if we and with all f's. Okay, so let's try this. And with zero, this should resolve to a zero and get rid of the reading of the register. And and with f's, We'll still read the register, but not actually emit the AND, and then this can go on either side of this equation. You were hating on the macros earlier, but now we got now we got some pretty good stuff going on here, chat. Do we not do we not have a good thing going on here? Um and self and self. Oh yeah, so we have Zor self self. Uh okay. Um Need more macros? We don't. With two uh, register inputs. Uh, ref x, ref y, reg reg x, reg y. Okay. If reg x is equal to reg y, uh, same inputs. Well, in this situation, if we have, um, um, okay, and none of these can be collapsed. Nope, because these are all different. Okay, um, if we have an instruction here, and it is an and, or uh, actually, if it's uh, yeah, if it's an and. Then this is a, a remapping. Remap, uh, yeah, remap output to input. So if we're anding with ourself, um, we have two inputs this time, and we remap that. So we have two inputs, uh, and then everything else, we do nothing. Okay, so if we have an and, and both of the inputs are the same, so it's and t with t, that's a nop. And that should be reflected here, and it is. And we only have one usage. If we had this as one, we would have the incorrect uh, register usage. We would have a two here when it's only used once, which is correct. So we, uh, since these are the same inputs, we're actually OK with these macros. Then we have, uh, so the ands are remappings. Um, or with yourself is also. A remapping? That's the exact same thing, right? And or with itself also does nothing. So if we or with ourself... Did I not save that or something? Oh, we just don't have it here. Or ref o, ref x, ref y. Okay, so here we go. And then oring with yourself is a nop, and everything gets updated correctly. All right, then we have um, XORs with self and subs with self are remappings to an immediate of the register two into a zero. Reg X equals reg Y is redundant. I don't think you can name them with the same binding, can you? I don't, I don't think you can do that. Yeah, you can't use something in a pattern more than once. Um, and we have, we're binding this dynamically. So this is getting assigned to this. So we then check. We could do an if on the pattern, I know that. But um, OK, so what do we just do? And an or. So and an or with themselves are nops. And that is true, and an or. And then we also have sub uh, with itself. Sub with itself is a replacement of zero, right? Sub with itself is a replacement of zero, and that has correctly gotten rid of all register usage. An XOR with itself is also a replacement with zero. Nice. Nice. Can we get some nices in chat? OK. Um, 
and with self. Done. This is XOR with zero. Um, an XOR with zero is a NOP. Right? An XOR with zero is a NOP. Um, which is then a replacement. An XOR with zero is a replacement. Same with this. Right? Oh, that's replaced with M. Uh, we want to remap. Um, if M is wo min. Oh, it's this. An XOR with zero remaps the output to the input. Correct? So let's try that. Let's do an XOR with zero. So right now, uh, well, now that I added that, that will uh, do nothing. But previously, that would keep the XOR in there. Now that XOR is gone. Uh, and then we also put it here, because it doesn't matter what order you do it. So now if we do an zero and a T, we'll also get the same optimization. Right? There we go. XOR uh, with zero. OK. An OR with zero is a redirect as well. Um, is that this? OR with zero is a remap? Yes. An OR with zero is a remap. OK, so if we OR with zero on either side, these should both show up as just reassigning that. Done. Or self and self. Uh, we already have that, right? Or with itself is a remapping. And or with all ones. Um, is all ones. I see. So that is this. And or with Womax is replace the instruction. It has one immediate, and we replace it with max. And that can go on either side, right? There, an or with Fs. All right, let's try that. Let's or with not zero. This should uh, collapse into just that assignment, which is good. Same with this one as well. Beautiful. Uh, shift left, shift right, shift arithmetic right. Okay. Um, are we really missing any of these? As long as we brainstormed all of them, I think we have everything implemented here. All, like, the, the really basic knops. Um, shift left. Um, right side has to be an immediate for all of these. Yeah. Shift left by ref O... Uh, ref X, ref Y. Uh, okay. That's actually one of these. Shift right, ref O, ref X, ref Y. Do you optimize recursively? Yes. Shift arithmetic right, ref O, ref X, ref Y. And we have an or. There we go. Shift left, shift right. Okay. So let's do uh, shift left by zero. T zero. And these are only immediate on the right. So it's these variants. So this is uh, a shift left. Um, oops. Um, bop, 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 bop. Shift left by if m is equal to wo min then that is a remapping. Uh, shift left and shift right. Right? Uh, and also shift arithmetic. Do we already have a remap for a min? We do. So it's just this. Um...
right? So all of those are knops. So if we do a shift left, if we do a shift right, and if we do a shift arithmetic right, these are all knops. They'll all hit these paths, which is pretty cool. Uh, so those are done. Then I need aisle source word um, bits bits self uh, number of bits in word as represented by a word. Um, right? Number of bits in word as represented by a word. And then bit self. Uh, ty is equal to uh, ty bits as ty, which should be fine. Okay. And then what we do is uh, shift left or shift right if the immediate exceeds whoa, if it's greater than or equal to um, word bit self. In this situation, we replace it with a zero, right? All right. Uh, pop, pop. Okay, so then if we do a uh, shift left by 32, that should just be a zero. And a shift left by 31, I think this is a 32-bit arc, it is. That actually is a shift by 31, shift by 32, a shift by 60. Um, all those just get reduced down to zeros. And then shift right, uh, same thing. Okay, uh, 31, this should persist. And then shift arithmetic, we can't do this on. All right. Is there anything else? people can think of as very simple, single instruction uh, reductions that we can do. Um, we do all of these with zero, our knops, uh, and with zero produces zero, or with zero, or, or with Fs is F, and with max is a knop, Shift or shift uh, shifts uh, logical that exceeds the shifting amount converge to zero. Um, then we have ones that uh, doesn't matter which side it's on, and zor or against min is a remapping. Um, yep, shifts are not, and then sub is not. So that is correct. Multiply by two is shift left. We don't have multiplies. But uh, yes, we could do that here. Uh, this would be the right place to do those operations. Uh, and with min is zero. Uh, or with max is max from either side. And with max is max. Zero with any shift is zero. We have that. A shift against zero. Oh, a zero with any shift is also zero. Okay. Um, which is the same as zero and something. Um, So if we have a zero as the input immediate, so now if we do uh, uh, if we do a sh zero shift by t, doesn't matter what t is, that's going to be collapsed into a zero shift arithmetic. That's a good one. Nice catch, Gaz. Um, shift left. Yep. Yeah, that is, that is the same properties of anding with zero where when a zero is in the left place. Um, Um, other than that, 
Is there any other simplification that we have? I don't think so. So we have those. And then set conditional. Uh, we'll do those uh, on another time. But it is time for me to go to raid unless anyone has a really simple one that follows this like existing form factor. I'm pretty happy with what we support here. So I'm going to send y'all off to somewhere else. Got to figure out where. Uh, and we'll find where we're all going to go off to. Sar with Womax should be Womax. Um, yeah, that was the only thing I was thinking, which I guess we can we can do. Um, if M is equal to Womax. Yeah, unconditionally. That will always be Womax. Which is the same as or, I guess? <laughs> Shift arithmetic rights by Womax. Or Womax shifted by anything, specifically. So, Womax shifted by anything is equal to Womax. Um, so, now if we do a SAR of this, and we do T, this should be optimized to all Fs, which is good. All right. I think that was the only other one that I could think of. Uh, let's see. Was raid time five minutes ago? No, raid is at 6.30. Um... <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jangles. When did the time change? Never. <laughs> Our first guild announcement was always 6.30. Have a good Karazhan? Hell yeah. Do you ever use Tmux? I do not. I let my window manager do that for me. Uh, let's find a place to raid, and then we can get off here. Uh, who's doing some stuff here? Someone doing a CTF? Let's see. I don't know. They're doing something. They say they're doing some hacking. So we're going to go raid them. Have uh, have fun watching someone uh, hack a bank live. Whatever the fuck that means. Uh, <laughs> have fun, everyone. See you later. <laughs>